Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome back to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Apologies on the massive delay. One, I got busy with my job at Hooded Horse, but also when I came back from TwitchCon, which was in Rotterdam just this last week, man, I uh, I got in, I got sick unfortunately, and that strained my voice to the point where I could barely even talk. So if you notice a little bit of strain, it's still there, but I wanted to get this out because I'm well enough to speak without it being debilitating. And I just want to play Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. So first and foremost, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoy today's episode. Now, in the interim, I did do some things within the city. I kind of cleaned some things up. I added some systems. I expanded uh, all of the uh, water, electricity, and sewage areas over here so we can eventually expand on into that area. What I really started working on was deleting uh, a forceful removal of some of the local citizens in their native housing and starting to transport them over to here. Eventually, uh, in true uh, Soviet form, I guess you could say, we're just going to take over this area and make it our own, kind of clean this area up so it isn't so dag nasty ugly. Now, one of the things I want to try and accomplish today is working on realistic construction. Now, one of the things that I had in back here, this whole system right here is built on the idea that I can export my construction waste to turn this stuff into, um, into power. That's what we're doing right here. However, our construction waste is full and we can't do anything about that construction waste because our, <laughs> our gravel recycling plant is full because our aggregate storage plant is full. So we also have a consistently high uh, maxed out storage facility for our coal. So this gave me the good idea. I have plenty of cash. One of our largest expenses, obviously, in the game is construction. Uh, and so if we can remove that issue, then I think we can save a boat ton of money. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start working on those. Now, I'm not going to necessarily turn on realistic construction just yet because it's not that simple. It's not that easy. And I still don't fully understand it. But what we are going to do is we are going to start the uh, construction modules for all of that expansion and all of that construction. Now, we do have some space over here for some things. We have some space back here. What I want to try and do the most, you know what? I bet we could connect this. That would be a really important connection if we could connect it is to try and build all of our construction mining things on the outskirts here so that our uh, our transportation trucks, which we're going to have to use trucks. Sorry if uh, if uh, if that bugs you a little bit, but we are going to have to use a bunch of dumpers to uh, move goods in and around the city to basically make that work. But if I can keep things off of the main roads here, that's going to reduce congestion for traffic, and that's going to be one of the best things that we can do. So we are going to just start by building simple thing here. Remember, everything is not realistic right now uh, because I just I just don't want to worry about it. I would like to actually get this rolling. So one of the first things we're going to do is we are going to build a cement plant so that we can start making cement. Now, a cement plant is a rather large building without a doubt. Um, and what I think we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use two of our aggregates. We're going to have to use a truck aggregate offloading station, I think is what we're going to end up needing. And that's going to eventually transport back over into a warehouse over here, which I think will still work all well and good. Um, let's see. Actually, we could do a concrete plant and do it right here and then automatically push that into a prefab factory across the Vey that might actually work. So we have that connection there. What does the cement plant need? It only needs power. I really don't feel like this is necessary, especially not for my first time trying to get this all rolling. Let's try this. So we're gonna try putting this baby right here. Sweet, we have a new vehicle type. It looks like a tram station. Let's actually turn off that real quick. We can kind of get this finagled a little bit closer by doing it that way. There we go. And then, like I said, what we're going to do is we are going to do a... We're going to go ahead and pause this for a little bit. 
We need a truck aggregate unloading station. Now, I would assume that I could do both resources here without an issue. Because they are both aggregates, they're just different aggregates. So I can't imagine that would be a problem. What do we have here? Overlapping with con with construction. Let's see if I can't get this. Aha! Sometimes having uh, everything gridded is not always the best solution. Okay, so we do have this. One of the other biggest costs is, is that uh, is imported workers. So we're definitely going to need to to work on that. That's totally fine though. So then we go over here. We're going to build our prefab suite. So we can go from one area straight to the other. But the deal is about the prefabs is they still need gravel. So we definitely still need to space things out well enough where we can get another truck offloading station to, to, to work on that one. So we could actually do right here, I think. Yeah, I think we could pop that right like that. And then again, we're going to do several of these truck aggregate offloading and loading stations um, today for sure. How close can we be? We can be that close? That works for me. And we are going to be just a little finagly. Just with that. Actually, nope. Because we do need this guy to be over here. We're going to try and loop it around as wide as we can go. It's actually not bad. I don't mind that at all. And then these guys can just straight up peel off right there. I'm actually... Eh. It bugs me. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so those are going to build, and now what we need here is we do need offloading uh, pickup stations here. So we're going to build, like I said, we're going to build several of these today. We are going to do a truck, whoop, a truck loading, which will go perfectly just right here, just like that. And then one over here in this facility. Okay, cool. So now when these get done building... Man, that's a pretty freaking penny. Ideally, the goal here is that we eventually reduce the cost of construction so much that it really saves us a lot of good. I really hope this construction is within a... Okay, good. We are. All right. So what's going to happen here is we are going to have to let's see 21 tons at maximum production. Buildings without drinking water. Okay, we could probably do that. And this also building is also without drinking water. So let's go ahead and just get a water substation. Am I really without water? Where's my closest water station? Oh, it is a bit of waste. Okay, no worries about that. I'm going to plop that right there. And then we got to figure out our closest connection. That's not water. Hmm, do we have to have a direct connection here? Or can I build a switch? We're going to build a switch real quick. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Sweet. No workers missing coal and gravel. No worries about that whatsoever because we can get that resolved. So what we need is we just need dumpers. We need dumpers, dumpers, and more dumpers. So these guys can do a pretty empty amount. So let's see. We need... I think I'm going to have three for these guys and then two for these guys. How much can they consume? They can consume quite a stinking bit. And that's not a worry. We can handle it. I'm actually going to do three for these guys, which means hopefully these guys can unload quickly. Which I know they can because they unload quickly. We're going over here to our dumper. Pretty penny expense, but that's not a problem. We are going to go, hey, you're going to load here and you are going to unload here. I'm going to go ahead and have you start. And then I'm going to say, hey, you're... All three are going to do that. You, good sir, you're going to go from this coal station to there. And you... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. It's messed up. You're going to go from here to there. And you're going to start. You, good sir. Uh, we still need gravel here, correct? Yep, we do. So I'm going to say, hey, go here. Dump here. Go ahead and start. Why not? Uh, we probably actually don't need all three. Because I don't think they have the capacity for all three. Um, but they might. Let's see. Alright, so I think we're in pretty good shape. So one of the things I wanted to do was to limit the traffic here. But I'm honestly not sure if I can do that. 
So what we're going to see here, great. Yeah, they unload and load very, very quickly here, which is fantastic. This is a very, very busy intersection. We've got a lot of stuff that goes on here. That's not a problem, though. We'll be hunky-dory. These guys are still cleaning out all the trash, which is great. And then eventually what you're going to start seeing is that aggregate's going to start going down lower, which means we can start actually processing a lot of this. Construction waste and ash. We've got ash rolling over here, uh, slowly trying to get away, which is fine. We have no workers here, which is also one of the bigger issues. I just want to make sure that people are actually getting to where they need to go. I think they are going to, which is great. Now, what we need over here is we do need more people. Uh, we need workers, and I'm honestly not sure how to get him there outside of building, like, houses and stuff. All right, cool. Well, there's the gravel. We need to see if coal is that coal. Nope. Oh, this guy. Uh, we need to sell him. Unfortunately, we can't have him. He's not dumping out stuff like he needs to be. There's gravel. What do you have? What was your purpose? Your purpose is to pick up stuff. There we go. Get that construction waste out. And then they're going to bring it over to the processing plant. Sweet. That's exactly what we need to see. That way he gets his stuff dumped. There we go. Which means he's going to start processing, which means we're going to get this done. Very nice. All right. Now, sweet. So we have people. We just literally need workers, which isn't a big deal. We can totally do that. Uh, I just need one. I need some pathways. And do we even build a bus over here? Or do I literally just drop people off? How many we need? 30 and we need 65. What does the current situation look like in terms of the workers and their resources? <laughs> Sorry, that was a really lame joke. I really do apologize for that, um, but it was slightly humorous to me. So what we're going to do is we are going to buy. Nope, that's the road where we're looking for. We don't need 82 passengers. We're going to go with one of these boyos. We're actually going to go with two of them. Now, I assume these things fill up pretty darn fast and pretty darn non-stop. And so we're going to kind of make this easy. Go here and go here. And then these next guys, are going to pick up in the same place and we're going to drop off there. In the hopes that, like, that'll be pretty daggum simple and just straightforward because that's kind of what we need. So these guys are missing fabric. Why are we not producing fabric? Hazardous waste. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot of hazardous waste. Okay, so we're actually not exporting. Um, Well, not that we're not exporting. We're not generating a lot of goods here. So we need to make that... Uh, we need to get that hazardous waste storage under control. Go waste. Now, I don't think we can incinerate. Oh, we can. We can incinerate. Can we really? We can incinerate... Um. Hazardous waste? No. It makes it into that. Am I reading that correctly? Yeah. Consumption and then exports. Okay, cool. Uh, now, what we need to do, I wish we had... Hmm. I'm going to have to figure out storage uh, for, for that stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, sweet. Nice. Wow. They make tons of prefabs very, very quickly. Okay. Wow. That's a lot faster than I thought they would. Uh, do we have a storage facility... Or this type of thing that's the big question I would imagine we would I imagine they don't just take from that and that alone so the real question is where so this is a general cargo that's meat storage and that's grain storage hmm do we really not have a prefab storage oh here we go oh, okay nice never mind that's totally cool open storage small or medium uh, let's go ahead and go with an, a medium Hmm, does this include concrete and stuff too? It doesn't, which is fine. I'm totally cool with that. I'm just trying to figure out. Yeah, see, like that would get filled up almost instantly. No, that's totally fine. Uh, now, the question is, I can store multiple things inside of a single storage facility. Um, I would think so anyways. Let's just go ahead and run with it. And that does have a nice train outlet, which is great. I just don't know that that's going to be, be necessary for us. We may just roll with this for now. 
Uh, so there we go. So I guess the real question then is how much we need to limit the amount. I'm going to say that these guys can have, we'll just say 100 tons. We'll just say that. How about that? Sewage tank is overflowing. I thought there was sewage here. Goodness gracious. Be right back. Okay. Super easy fix. No worries. What we need now is more gravel. So I don't know if these guys are just taking heckin' forever. It kind of seems like they're taking heckin' forever. Which I guess isn't the worst thing in the world. But still a little bit frustrating. Now what we need to just make sure we're doing is that the construction waste here is being processed fully. Missing construction waste. Okay, so I think what happened is that we didn't tell our guys, um, our dumpers in the originals to uh, pick up construction waste only and then dump it in here. So as a result, it's not taking it. And we I basically had to like delete a bunch of them, which is fine. It's a little frustrating, but uh, it is what it is. And so now we can have these guys go do that. You can go here. You can dump off at the facility, but you need to only take um, construction waste. Sweet. So that should help them rock and roll. This train is really frustrating because it blocks a heck of a lot of traffic. Part of me wants to like uh, create like a roundabout area over here. All right. But anyways, okay. So they're taking in lots of cement. They're taking in lots of that stuff. They're going to fill that up very, very quickly. This is going to get filled up very, very quickly. But we do have to take in a crap ton of gravel, which isn't a big deal. I'm not complaining whatsoever. But it does mean that I have to buy a lot more dumpers than I anticipated. So we're going to load here, unload here, and we're going to tell all three of you guys to start. And this is one of those instances where I probably should not even... Oh my word, look at all these roads. We are going to have to like fix all this in the future, but it's all good. It's all good. They are going to start taking everything. They've got plenty of coal storage. It's the gravel that we're experiencing issues with. Part of a me wants to figure out how to make this a little more efficient. Although to be quite frank, I'm not entirely sure if there is a more efficient way than them rocking and rolling this way. What we could do is that a, that is a water facility. We could create this really funky wonky roundabout and see if they will use that. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to see if we can't. Nope. That is quite literally the most ideal solution we can have here. All right. They may not use it, which is all right with me. It's not the worst thing in the world. All right. So we do have a lots of storage, though. Now we need to figure out what we can make. What we can store cement in. Because eventually I would like to either export it or do something of that nature. Just... To make things nice and neat and uh, utilize it in the future. So we have that. Let's see. Plastic waste board steel. Nope. Oh, sweet. We can make a Okay. We can make a cement silo. I don't need a big cement silo. Or is there no such thing as a small cement silo? Apparently there isn't. 33 grand for that. Well, I hope you enjoy yourselves because that's freaking ridiculous. Um, let's go ahead and plop that sucker here. I know there's lots of import and export options. We're not going to worry about it because um, I'm not smart enough for that. There we go. Cool. So they're going to start exporting that dry bulk storage there, which means we have two of our resources figured out. The next one is going to be wood. We could definitely do some wood cutting. I don't think that's a big problem at all. Let's take a look at what else we might need. We might need a brick factory. An asphalt plant would be very, very important as well. But asphalt could almost be built... I feel like I could make asphalt work over here. We would just have to import uh, oil because I'm not about to try and import that. That would work. I feel like we could get our um, road to go here, and that way it's always generating. Eventually, we might do uh, oil in general, but that would be asphalt. Now, let's take a look here real quick. I just want to see what it's going to take... Or some flats. Now, we don't have to do crazy big ones. But for instance, we could go ahead and slap another flat over here. Heck, we could even slap a flat over here and make it work. But uh, we're not going to. I'm going to put a flat right here. 
So what we need is asphalt, concrete, prefab, gravel, and steel. Now, steel is going to be the most expensive. We have dropped... Oh, I, I, I looked this up before. We have dropped... Steel has by far been the wildest amount. Now, admittedly, gravel and asphalt and concrete and prefabs are like all right right there so so that's nice and we've dropped the the least on boards so so i'll just say that we we don't even need boards for over here but if what we can do is we can get steel production up and running that might use like the last of our like okay reserves as it were because let's look over here it's not cheap there's our coal mine where's our our metallurgy there we go an iron mine an iron processing plant and a steel mill are going to be almost half a grand just right there alone but i do feel like if we could do that then it would be good for us to do it oh an aluminum plant is aluminum really expensive can we sell that for quite a bit i'm just trying to find ways to eventually we're gonna to have to i mean I'm, i may actually bankrupt this run and that is one thing i wanted to say real quick is that like if i bankrupt it it's not like the game is over with for me because i would rather just start over and find a new place hmm Bitumen's quite a bit, though. So anyways, yeah, we can definitely try and figure things out. But I, it's not like, like I said, it's not like the game's going to be over with. But steel itself is very, very expensive. Steel, we buy it at 319 a ton. So in terms of here, like, that's already quite a good chunk of money. So, like, if we can, if we can offset that cost, if we can even sell it, for instance, that would even be better. I just don't know if we are going to be able to sell it. But what I can totally see us doing is building our steel, actual steel processing plant here. Funneling the, um, we would probably actually want to funnel this train over into uh, a steel processing plant. And then we can export steel directly along the line and maybe make, hopefully, a crap ton of money we would have to see. But that would require quite a bit. So you see what I mean, though. So if we weren't to iron processing or iron mine, iron processing mine, we would have to do an loading train station and then do the steel mill where it's already got the train connection so that's really freaking handy but that would require a lot of coordination to the point where we may not even want to export coal anymore we may want to try and figure out what else we can do with it to push it in different places uh, so there's a lot of stuff that we have to figure out to be profitable but i think we can totally get there we have a good population we have a lot of things going on on this front so we have again to go back to everything Let's go. I wish I could stop production. Cancel contract, finish on our own. That's totally fine. So, for instance, we could do. We have. Uh, we need concrete. So, we would actually have to. This is just uh, cement. We would need concrete, which means we would need to go into the construction thing. And we would need a concrete plant, which is not. Well, it's actually not that big. It just requires cement. Crap ton of gravel and a lot of water, which we have all of those. Man, part of me wishes I could make this work. I wonder if I could make it work. And then we would just need to import uh, import gravel. There we go. All right, cool. So we could. Sweet. Buildings without the drinking water. Are you kidding me? No way. Okay, well, no, we can't do that. Uh, bye. Sorry. Waste of money, I know. I'm just talking about running low on funds and stuff, and I'm just like, hey, I'm going to throw water flippantly everywhere. It's all good. It's all good. Because I'm discovering this on my own, and I'm actually really, really excited about it. Okay, so this would work. This would provide access to water, sewage, and everything. So we're going to go and drop that there. And then all we would need is just a crap ton of gravel. Goodness gracious, it's... We're actually using quite a bit of gravel, I have to say. These guys are pumping it into overtime. We're at 82% here. We have almost no construction waste. And almost no none for ash, which is good. That means that we're able to, to really utilize this. But this does also mean interesting that we actually need to get a garbage truck coal mine processing dump claw okay general inspection hold on general separation we don't need to that doesn't need to 
be there. Oh no, okay, no, he's do okay. He's doing it the right way. All right, so yeah, we they're they're getting there. Uh, we just need to. Man, I wish we could figure out a good way to make this work. You finagle with things enough, and life uh, life finds a way. So hopefully that'll help. That way they can at least transport things a little more efficiently, and then we'll be right as rain there. All right, so we're still we're still rocking and rolling. They have all their max workers. They don't have enough workers, um, but we're good there. We're maxed out on prefabs, and we need cement. I'm definitely not going to import gravel because that's stupid. Um, but what we can do is we can definitely continue to uh, unload it. I'm curious as to why. Let's see, that's aggregate storage export. Why they're not automatically dumping it into here. Yeah, I do want to notify if it gets empty. But I'm curious as to why. Resources missing, construction waste, that's fine. But they still should be... Oh, they fill up and then they pump the excess there. I gotcha. I really wish that they would... No, we're not going to empty that whole storage. That is not what I want to do at all. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're pumping the excess, which is fine. I would just rather them always pump straight into it. Which I guess what we could do is we could just force that. Because I think we could... Yeah, we're going to run out of gravel is what's going to happen. Which kind of sucks. Like, I didn't expect that to happen. Let's look over here. These guys have tons of quarried stone. But we could probably go ahead and build another one of these gravel quarries. Just to keep them on their toes. So we actually already have logistic issues, which is awesome. This is so much fun. Well, everybody, that was a lot of like logistical nitpicking that I don't typically like putting in my episodes. So I didn't. But long story short, we semi sort of solved our gravel issue. So basically what I did is one, I didn't realize just how um, not inefficient per se, but like how necessary it is to have multiple vehicles per gravel quarry because they fill up really flipping fast, and I didn't realize that. And then what I did is uh, I forced some people to come up to here. They're gonna be a little bit unhappy for forever, but it's okay. So essentially what we have is we have our quarried stone is pretty much always going to be full. As you can see, I think we have four dumpers full of quarried stone by themselves who all wait until uh, you have to have completely unloaded your material and so that helps because that puts us into a uh, aggregate storage which then automatically gets put into our dumpers who are automatically dumping everything back over here so as you can see we're actually at a net positive and we're also i wonder if oh i see i see what's going on yeah i got it we're not loading uh well and let's see Aggregate loading, yes, and then we unload 100% of everything. And that's not what I've been doing because, again, the game isn't super intuitive about this. And so if you don't know, then you don't know. And so, we, yeah, we've got a lot of dumpers and a lot of everything going on over here. So let's see, the cement plant. But then also, basically, I'm having them go over here. And just, like, if they have gravel, then great. We have tons of gravel that gets put here. But we don't have enough gravel that gets put here. So I think it's just a manner of uh, logistically figuring all that out. Now, regardless, let's see. Water tank imports. Uh, do you actually have a water line that I have to be considerate of? You do. Okay. Uh, it's all figuring this stuff out. I, oh, man, this is so much fun, though. I have to say, it really just is a blast. So we've got our water coming in, which is great. The water quality is at 99%. I think it only needs to be, there you go, 55%. So we don't have to worry about that. What we do have to worry about is gravel and then cement. So again, once we get our boyos who are supposed to um, unload everywhere, then perhaps we can get going. There we go. We've got some gravel coming in there. Got gravel coming in there. Uh, but basically, I just want to make sure that we're all taken care of and that gravel really is being put to good use. Sweet. Yeah, that's going to end up working great. What we need to make sure of actually... Okay, that is that I was going to say that we actually have people who are prioritizing this over over everything else. Uh, what we're actually going to do is I'm going to remove uh, this plant, the, the prefab. So where they just go to here and to here. Now, they'll never fi fill this up, I don't feel. Actually, we actually are getting close. I just want to see them make actual concrete. I guess we don't have workers here, do we? We don't have workers, which is a, kind of a big deal. So let's go ahead and find one more station. That's going to be able to pull... How many workers do we need? We need five workers. Okay, so that's like a vehicle. 
So let's uh, let's go over to here. Can I buy it just like a car? Surely I can buy a car, right? The real question is, can I can I make this car? And I really, I'm gonna pick up five people and I'm gonna drop them off here just because I can. Like that's actually kind of hilarious. And I kind of want to follow this road vehicle. Let's, uh, how do we follow it? So he's literally gonna go pick up five of his buddies. Sweet, we've got four workers and they're gonna drive all the way. Oh, I lost them, there he is. Um, excuse me, bus, you are in my vey. And he's gonna drop them off at the work, at the, uh, at the concrete facility. That's fantastic. All right, so that's our concrete. So that's all we need. So so it literally will will fill up as we get there. Um, but for now, we're, we're getting close. We're getting super duper close. And I feel like all we need, we need a brick factory and then we need asphalt, right? So that's the, the gravel that we're looking for, which is filled up there. Okay. I feel like we're really close to nailing this. So we're going to actually, we could probably have it go this way, couldn't we? Or is that just logistical nightmare land? I think that's nightmare land. I guess it wouldn't be nightmare land if I can get that right there. So the good thing about asphalt is that I only need it when I need it, much like cement. So it's, it's not like it's something that I have to keep worrying and worrying and worrying about. There we go. And so what we're going to do here is we are going to purchase with rubles. I mean, we don't need a lot. That might be the most that we ever need. And then building is without drinking water and we don't have any workers. Well, that's okay. There's going to be people that are going to walk to it. And I can make that distance even shorter for them. That's fine. Okay, so we have our asphalt. It's going to slowly pull that in. We don't need anything else outside of steel. And we can import steel. Uh, in fact, we could, I think, I think we could build a warehouse. Am I correct? We should be able to build a warehouse that would allow us to just simply import steel. In fact, we have space here, right? So we can purchase steel. Oh my word. So freaking much. Like that's a massive amount, but that's 27 tons of steel. And then I think we would be good. We technically have everything, right? We have concrete, asphalt, prefab, gravel, and steel. And so what we're going to do real quick, this is going to be a bit of an extended episode. I, I'm, I'm not even going to apologize because there's nothing to apologize about. But what we have here is a construction office. That's a really big construction office, but maybe that's what we need. What do the freeze do? Let's, let's take a look here and see what the free construction does. Interesting. Okay, so we can... This is great. Prefab panels... Can go there uh gravel can go all the way up here asphalt we have an asphalt plant we have a concrete plant we have a steel plant we don't have bricks we need to do bricks but that's still all well and good but we don't need bricks here do we we don't need bricks so what do i need is the is the real question i don't even know where we're going to get workers from we're going to assign it this new construction and do we just have let's see we have a concrete mixer Missing a dumper truck. There we go. What else do we need is the question, though. Do we need an exca excavator? Do we need a bulldozer? I don't know that we need a bulldozer. And I don't know if we need a roller or a paver at the moment. But this is so much fun, guys. So, in theory, there's our concrete. We're using our own workers, am I right? Missing gravel and asphalt. Okay, so I can see where we need multiple, multiple people. But look, they're all just standing there waiting to... Oh, my word. Guys, I'm nerding out just a little bit. Uh, where's my clone button? Because I know I can clone. But it looks like we can build several facilities. Oh, but we have to do... What can, oh, what I wish we could have. Oh, man. It would be really cool to have uh, the ability to just uh, copy-paste the entire process, if you know what I mean steel prefab panels and like like we do with vehicles for instance uh, but that that's that's not what we can do and then i think what we need is i'm going to go ahead and say another concrete mixer do we need a covered hole i don't think we need a covered hole i think we need a dumper we're going to say that's good enough and we are going to sign it this job as well 
What are we missing? Concrete, gravel, and asphalt. Okay, concrete, gravel, asphalt. So I guess the concrete's taken care of, am I right? What is the open hole for? Oh, we're going to need that for sure. Guys, I am like freaking nerding out right now. This is super duper fun. And then we just need asphalt. How do we pick up asphalt, I guess is the question. Is he picking it up? He is. Brilliant. It's fine. It's fine. We're 2.7. But we should start construction on this soon. And then we're going to do the same thing here for this, for this place. Uh, I am going to get a bulldozer. We are going to get a concrete mixer. We are going to get two dumpers. And then for all the same stuff here. Oh my word. This is too... Oh, this is too cool. Steel. And prefab panels for the time being. That's great. And then I am going to sign it this. Whether it needs it or not. Then that way... Oh my word, guys. I think this is... Oh my word, they're driving on the sidewalk. Yes. Yes, they're doing it. Okay, this is significantly slower though. But I'm totally alright with it. Because the thing is, like, we're saving on so much money. And also, we could start exporting this stuff. Now, admittedly, like, 24 tons. Like, I would have to use road vehicles because there's no way logistically that I'm getting this crap out via train. Unless there is a connection. Oh, no. That's just a road connection. But is that still closer? That actually might be a little bit closer. But basically, what I want to do is I have so much excess. And I think that's that's where the things really come in. So, for instance, we have a ton of excess concrete. Uh, or cement, rather. Now, cement sells for uh, 26 per ton, which means... See, that's the thing. If I were to do a 24-tonner, that's only 600 bucks round trip. And that's just not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Um, now, the thing is, also, we have no clothes because I didn't actually figure out the, the hazardous waste stuff. So, we got to figure out the hazardous waste stuff. Uh, but we'll do that in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, we are slowly building up our empire here. It's so cool. And I am nerding out that we're actually able to construct this. We'll continue semi-sort of formally into um, all of the uh, other production-minded things and the realistic production here in the near future. But if you enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. Go ahead and give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. Leave your comments in the comment section below while I logistically figure out how in the heck I'm going to make all of this work. I'm super excited, though, and I hope you are, too. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next one.